I'm not sure what to call it yet. It's like five tips in five minutes. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure I'll come up with an idea. Maybe. Have to wait and see. I'm sure I'll have a name for it. So, I just sold a mural, the first mural that I have sold ever, and I'm doing it over the Easter weekend. I'm not sure how to feel, I'm really excited though. I started the day off with it, and I just feel super aligned, that's all. I just feel super connected to who I'm supposed to be. Kia ora, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to 5 Minute Fridays. My name is Jordan T. Mystic. <laughs> I'm an artist with a capital A, a father, and now a mural artist. Oh! <laughs> and my mission is to create more creators. So that's what we're doing here today, ladies and gentlemen. So welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a new series that I'm starting called Five Minute Fridays. I was feeling like I wasn't posting consistently. And obviously, to be a decent YouTuber, I want to be able to post consistently. So I've decided to do a short, easy to shoot series on just questions that people ask. I've done a bit of SEO research. I've done a bit of research into YouTube and sort of the things that come up for people often. This, that's what we're doing today. This is Five Minute Fridays. Today, what we're going to be talking about is how to make more expressive art. Have you ever wanted to learn how to make more expressive art? Cut to the B-roll sequence right now, because I'm going to show you some of my expressive art. Get straight into it guys quick little side note this is the second time i've made this video so i actually shot this video a few weeks ago and i had a hard drive crash on me make sure you have backup external hard drives ladies and gentlemen in fact i'm going to have a foolproof system with a home base hard drive as soon as i can get it going because i lost a few videos on that hard drive and it's corrupted now and it Ah, it's just frustrating. I was able to get some backlogs of some of those videos on my SD cards and stuff, but some of them are just dead to the world, gone forever. So I had to accept that and it's okay because we can still shoot. I still have my script. I still have my art. So there's a lot worse things that could be happening right now. So let's get into 5 Minute Friday. The first thing we have to do before we start is get the timer going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and stick to this timer as best I can. Please don't destroy me in the comments if I do. Also, if you have any questions you would like answered in these videos, please put them down in the comments. I would love to answer those questions for you. Helps us make more content. Helps us make content that you guys want to watch. Here's our timer. Let's go. Ready? And there's our five minutes. Let's get straight into it, ladies and gentlemen. Tip number one on how to make more expressive art. Loosen up and relax. Ladies and gentlemen, there are so many people out there who, and I'm sure you do this too. I, I used to do this as well. When I'm drawing, when I'm painting, I used to hold my paintbrush or my pen so tight and sharp, really trying to get fine details in there. You don't need to do that, guys. Just loosen up. Try to hold your pencil in your two fingers like this. A lot of people will hold their pencil like this or like this. Uh, I don't even know how they do it. I tutor young illustration students and painting students. And the, the one thing I see that's most common is that they hold their pen too tight and they draw from their wrist. So if you draw paint with your index finger and your middle finger, and just, just lightly put your brush or pen in this sort of webbing in between your thumb and your index finger. And instead of using your wrist, use your whole arm. Use your shoulder. Really use your body. Let your shoulder do the work. Loosen up. It doesn't have to be perfect. Practice makes perfect. Loosen up and relax. 
Burn some incense, put some of your favorite music on or your favorite movie on, and just relax, enjoy. Art is supposed to be fun and relaxing, not stressful. And that will give you some more space to be more expressive. Tip number two, practice your art form daily. I cannot iterate this enough. If you wanna get better at your art, if you wanna be more expressive at your art, practice your art form every single day. One stroke on the page, one line, it doesn't matter. Draw a circle in your sketchbook and call it a day if you're feeling tired. Just do something every single day. But if you turn up and you start doing it and you give it a go, you are going to be shocked at how good your art is gonna be and how more expressive your art's gonna become the more often you do it. Some days I don't wanna sit down at the sketchbook or at the canvas because I'm too tired or I'm exhausted from looking after my kids. But then I turn up and I just commit to half an hour, 20 minutes a day. I say to myself, I'm just gonna sit for 20 minutes. And then I find myself sitting there for an hour. So practice daily. You cannot get better at your art form. You cannot be more expressive with your art form if you don't have a daily practice. I'm so big on this. If you are doing one push up a week, you're not gonna get strong. You just can't expect to get better if you're only going to do it once a year, once a month, once a week. Try 20 minutes a day, just start there. And if that's even harder for you, just try drawing one line a day, a circle a day, and that'll get you started. Tip number three, what are you drawn to? Pun intended here. What styles, what songs, what movies, what music, what art forms, what, what kind of stuff are you drawn to? And bring that in to your work. Really have a deep look into that stuff and figure out what you're drawn to because that will help you be more expressive. Are you drawn to weird movies? Are you drawn to weird toys? Like really look deep into the details on that stuff and bring that into your art. Take all sorts of elements from everywhere. Frank and research, Frank and create and bring it all together and that will help you make more expressive art. Tip number four, consume creative work. Okay, there's a lot of creative work out there to consume. I'm not just talking about Netflix and Disney Plus and all that sort of stuff. Actually do yourself a favor and go to a museum, watch some quirky movies. Actually go to the movies and watch a movie where it's supposed to be watched. It's an immersive experience. The cinema is made to watch a movie. People spend years making movies on all of this equipment with all of this sound technology to give you an experience at the actual cinema. Consume it, just be there, be present in the moment. Go and see real art, real art in person. Go to a local gallery, go and look at a mural in person. Stop looking at everything on your small screen and actually consume real art. Touch stuff that's tangible. Like obviously don't go and touch the art at a museum. That's not a great idea, but you're gonna be a rich boy. You better sell that quick. <laughs> it's already sold. Go out and see the world. Even just touch a leaf. That's art. That's creativity. That's getting connected with what's really going on in the world. So just consume more creative art. Tip number five and the final tip. This is the most important one. Do some soul searching. Figure out who you want to be. Figure out what lights you up. What is your biggest dream? Figure out what that is and put it into your art. Who is the best version of yourself? And you can make art about it. You can draw yourself as your best version of you. Write a list of the person you'd like to be. Make it up of all the people that you admire, all the personality traits that you admire about certain people and put it all together. That's how I became the person I wanna be. Just looked at all the people that I've met, all the people that I admire and I put it all together. Write a list of your favorite things and the things that you often create. I found that when I was creating and I went through my sketchbooks, there was patterns. Because I did so much sketchbooking over the last six to 12 months, I went back through and I went to my old sketchbooks as well from years ago and I found that there was patterns. Octopus tentacles, I love to draw. Octopi, barn owl. That was another one that I did a lot of. Luchadors, like there's all sorts of things. Disney animated style characters is a big thing for me as well. Character design is a big thing for me. Go through all of your art, find the things that you create a lot, try and figure out why, and then put it into your art, make it expressive. This piece right here is really simple, but as you can see, it's got octopi tentacles on it. And this is a piece about me. The spaceman is a character that I created to depict my experience as a kid with ADHD. I felt like 
an astronaut floating around in space, not understanding what the stars were. And these tentacles are the universe sending me a sign and it's backing me. I know like some people would interpret it as trying to actually engulf me, but I don't feel that way. I feel like all of these options, I finally know what to do and now I'm flying. It was holding on to me and now I'm flying. So the final thing you can do to find yourself, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, keep a journal and or a sketchbook because a sketchbook is a journal as well. You can keep a journal of all your experiences in sketchbook form. I keep both. I do a sketchbook and it's where I experiment or where I put my ideas and let them lock. They're there safely for me to come back to when I need to pull an idea from somewhere. When I go to do a skateboard or I go to do a painting or a, or a print or something like that, I've got these ideas waiting for me. I don't have to go looking for them in my head. But a journal is a great place to go and just keep your story, keep your experience, keep your memories somewhere. And you can use those memories to make your art. That's how you're going to find yourself. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. If you are interested in supporting this channel and seeing more content, please go to patreon.com forward slash Jordan T Mystic. Yes, that's right. For all of the regular viewers, we have just opened up Patreon. For the price of a coffee, you can get early bird tickets to all of my new courses coming up, sketchbook courses and the like, early bird prices to all of our products. There is an exclusive Patreon discount and I post these videos first on Patreon before I even post them on YouTube. And we also have a weekly newsletter that's free. If it's something you're interested in, the link is down below for that mailing list. That's it ladies and gentlemen, that was the first five minute Friday. What did you think? Let me know in the comments any questions you have about ADHD, creativity, uh, anything you wanna know. We've got a few episodes booked already. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is one done. We are done for this week. Sorry about the squealing in the background, but I still have a home office, so we're getting there. By the end of the year, we're going to have an office outside of the home so that we can moderate the audio. Thank you so much for watching. I have been your host, Jordan T. Mystic. As always, never forget, stay weird, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still here. Oh. Camera shaking. Have a beautiful week. I love you. Bye. I'm just gonna leave that to roll over for a second there. And and that will give you some I just Of course, the one time I'm recording.